you eight cute and easy school hairstyles that will really make everyone stare and say, wow, how did you learn to do that? And you can say, uh, I'm just talented. Not really. You better tell them that Glitter Forever 17 taught you or I would be really, really sad. I'm just kidding, sort of. You better tell them that I taught you. Let's get started, school critters. Yeah. Voluminous side ponytail. Oh my gosh, it sounded like Shaggy for a minute there, but I'm sure a lot of you are way too young to know who that is. Anyways, before styling this here weave, I gotta party by myself a little bit first. Then start brushing out all those little tanglies. So next, using a teasing comb, I'm just going to part my hair the way that it wants to be parted. I'm having a party here. Get it? Party. Party. Yeah. Get it. So then I just took a section of my hair, I teased it, and then I poofed it up, and I'm just going to secure it with a couple of bobby pins. And you can make your poof as big as you want. The reason I make mine big is because it tends to fall eventually. So then I'm just going to tease my hair a little bit more on the side, and then go ahead and put it up in the side ponytail. But only put up a section of your hair and leave some out because we're going to do something super special with it. So what are we going to do with it? What are we going to do? Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to twist it up and then wrap it around the ponytail. So the reason that we're doing this is so the ponytail don't stick out like a sore thumb that's been beat with a hammer and shattered in 25 places. That might be a little extreme, but you get the drift. So next I'm just adjusting my hair by tugging on the back to add a tad more volume and voila! This cute side ponytail is all finished. You know, it's been a really, really long time since we've had some random singing in this here video. Oh, oh yes, it is. School hairstyles. <coughs> Double pig fish hairstyle. Bloop, bloop. I'm a fishy. And I don't like crabs because they bite. So as you can see, I kept the poof up in my hair. And next, I'm going to use my teasing comb to split my hair into two sections and then bring them around to the front. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fishtailing both sections of hair. So if you do not know how to fishtail braid, all you have to do is split your hair into two sections. Then you take a small section from the outer right section and move it over to the left section. Then you take a small section of hair from the outer left section and move it over to the right section. It's a very, very simple braid. So after you're finished fishtailing your little braid, you just want to secure it with a ponytail ring or a rubber band and tug at it a little bit to make it look a lot more thicker and this looks so much more cuter. Then you want to repeat the same steps on the other section of hair and that is all for this fishy pigtail look. All of my life. This is one twisted hairstyle. <laughs> this hairstyle really isn't that twisted, that crazy voice who just said that. It's actually the easiest hairstyle in this entire video. All you want to do is you just want to take a section of hair from the front and then you just want to twist it around to the back and secure it with a bobby pin and repeat the same step on the other side. So you could either wear this in a parted style or you could also wear your hair up in a ponytail after you've done this and it just it's it, 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 it's just a really really cool look and it's just a really cute hairstyle for when you're on the go and you don't have much time to do your hair. How could you could not be in love with this hairstyle? You crazy? If you're not in love with it, that's okay, I forgive you. So let's dive right into how to achieve this cute top knot. So first you want to put your hair up in a ponytail and tug on the ponytail a little bit just to give your hair a little more volume. And I like to put the ponytail sort of to the side back of my hair. And then I just take my hair and I wrap it around sort of messy like. You don't want it to be perfect. And then you secure it with bobby pins and you can tug at it a little bit to make it look exactly how you want. So just pull down some tendrils to make it look a little tad messy. And that's all for this top knot. So it pretty much says it all in the title. This hairstyle is so simple and I've seen it on several celebrities. All you want to do is you want to take a section of hair and braid it into somewhat of a small braid. Then just secure it with a rubber band at the end and then take the remainder of your hair, split it into two sections and use the braid as the third section and begin to braid all the way down. And this looks so much better on someone that has more defined hair or has highlights or lowlights in their hair. You can see it a whole lot better. So next I'm just tugging at the braid and bringing some tendrils down in the front just to make it a little more messy looking and of course a little more extra cute. And that is all for this look. See that really wasn't that hard, don't you know? Hold down. Here's with the topsy. So for some reason I wanted to use my teasing comb to brush my hair and let me just say it really worked great. 
So using the tip of the teasing comb, I split my hair into a half section and then I put it up in a somewhat of a high ponytail. Then I tugged on the ponytail to give myself a little room to make a hole. Then I took my hair and I twisted it through the little hole that I had made. Next I just spread the hair apart to tighten it up and as you can see it makes this really cute little topsy tail. And I don't know why, every time I say topsy tail it kind of reminds me of one of those theme park rides that are like topsy turvy. Oh, I'm such a kooky bear sometimes. So next I just took a teasing comb, lifted up the hair just to give it a little more volume, added a bow, pulled down some tendrils, and that is all for this cute little schoolgirl hairstyle. Yay! If it was a snake braid, it would have bit ya! Oh wait, it is a snake braid! Ah! Hairstyle. Okay, so I know that was a little dramatic, I know, but hey, that's me. So to start off, you just want to normally braid a somewhat small section of hair in the front. Then after you're finished braiding it all the way down, you take the middle section of the braid, hold on to it, and then you want to push the other two sections all the way up till it looks nice and scrunched like I'm showing you right here. And then you just want to start tugging on it little by little. And as you can see, the two outer sections have completely wrapped around the middle section just like a snake. It's like a slivery, slimy snake. But anyway, after you're done, you want to repeat the same steps on the other side and then secure each section with bobby pins, however many you need. Pull down some tendrils in the front and that is all for this really cute and unique hairstyle. Psst, I'm a scary snake and I'm gonna bat you. Double the messy, 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 messy hairstyle. So for this hairstyle, I'm putting a new spin on an old classic messy bun, sort of like I'm putting a new coat of paint on an old broken down car. And it's gonna look great. So I made my poof for some extra volume, then I split my hair into two piggy tails with my trusty teaser. Then I used the teasing comb to tease up one section of the pigtails. I put it up in sort of a half ponytail. As you can tell, I didn't pull it through all the way. So you take the top half of the ponytail and you fan it forward and secure it with several bobby pins. And you can just mess around with it. Haha, <laughs> get it? Messy bun, mess around with it. To make it look even more messy, you can tug on it, you can pull some pieces out, and you just want to repeat the same exact step on the other side. Secure it with as many bobby pins as you want, and there you go. It is very simple. Just pull down some tendrils in the front, and there you go. That's all for this hairstyle. And not only that, that's all for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and have a glitterful school year. Mwah. Bye, y'all. Uh, are you waiting for something? Would you want a cookie or something like that? Let's see, I got a taco chip, oatmeal, raisin, sugar cookie, fuzzy cookie, strawberry, ice cream cookies, and a vanilla wafer. Oh, wait. You wanted the Glitter Critter Anthem, huh? All right. No cookie for you. Please subscribe to the official Glitter Critter. And don't forget to be on Facebook and Twitter. Have a glitterful school year.